Um, so let me introduce our first speaker tonight, Dr. Margaret Callahan. She's a, she's a medical oncology fellow working at the In Clinic and Research Laboratory at Memorial Sloan Kettering. She's going to speak about recent advances and discoveries in melanoma research. Thank you. Dr. Callahan. Wonderful. Thank you so much. It's, it's really an honor and a privilege to uh, be here and to meet some of the wonderful people and to hear what you are doing really to change uh, how we um, are able to treat melanoma. And uh, I'm just so impressed with the commitment uh, to education that I see here. Um, so my name's Maggie Callahan, if I haven't gotten a chance to meet you. Uh, I'm a fellow at Sloan Kettering and uh, the clinical practice I have treats patients with melanoma. And I'd like to share with you really some of the successes that I've been able to witness over the past few years uh, where I really feel like we are tipping the scales in treating melanoma. Uh, and there are two areas, when I think about melanoma, I think about two different um, areas where we're really changing how we look at the disease. And the first area that I won't speak on too much is in early disease where education saves lives. And I think that is a, a philosophy that we see in action here. Uh, I live in Manhattan, so the cabs, the trains, the TV ads, uh, you know, the education that's out there. And having met the Begains, I, I have to say I'm going home tonight thinking I wouldn't be surprised if someone knocks on my door tomorrow and, and gives me some more education about melanoma. And it's great because discovering melanoma early is the way that we save lives. The area that I focus on, yeah, that deserves a round of applause. Uh, the area that I focus on is advanced melanoma, where, where I can say that when I first started as a fellow at Memorial Sloan Kettering three years ago, uh, we had a whole decade where there were no new medications for melanoma, and there were not great treatments. And in 2011, we changed that by approving two new drugs for melanoma. And that deserves a round of applause as well. And so I'd like to share with you a little bit about these two new drugs that are out there that really are changing the face of how we treat melanoma and the options we have. Uh, the first new drug came out of discoveries made in the lab, people in the lab studying mice, studying cells and culture, studying genetics. And for those of you who have been following advances in genomics, may have been sitting at home, pouring through the journals, reading the literature, <laughs> you, you may have been sitting at home with burning questions. Are there any questions from the audience? <laughs> I have a question from the audience. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Dr. Maggie. Um, my family's been involved in some funding of some genetic research at the laboratory out in Cold Spring Harbor, and I was wondering if you are familiar with what exactly are the genetic mutations found in melanoma? Great question. That is a question that scientists have been thinking about and puzzling about for years, and the answer to that question led to the approval of a drug that's able to treat about half of the people who have advanced melanoma. So has anyone else been following the literature and knows what mutation is out there? Yes? I could be wrong. You could be wrong. could be wrong, but anybody who knows me, I'm never wrong. But on this one, I'm a little shaky. Is it b -rap? It is. Thank you very much. And the, 
that answer, the answer to that question, BRAF, is the gene that's present in half of advanced melanomas. And knowing that that gene, that mutation in that gene, which functions as a green light to tell the melanoma cells, go, 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 led to the development of a drug that targets that mutation that tells the melanoma cells, stop, stop, stop. And that drug called Vemurafenib with a commercial name that's much easier to remember, Zelbaraf. Um, that'll be the quiz next year. Um, was approved by the FDA last year, and now we have a drug that we can offer to half the patients with melanoma, and it works. And so 2011 was a bumper crop year. We had not just this new BRAF mutation discovery and new treatment for BRAF mutant melanomas, but we also got FDA approved a drug that activates your immune system to fight cancer. And that's a drug called apilumumab or Yervoy, another tongue twister. And so we now have two great drugs to offer patients with advanced melanoma, and it is changing. It is changing how we treat this disease. We still have more work to do, but there's a, lot of, there's a lot of hope out there. There's a lot of reason to be encouraged. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll be happy to answer any other questions. Thank you very much, Maggie. <clears throat>